Good morning, Foley High School. Will you please stand for a moment of silent meditation and remain standing as we honor our nation in reciting the Pledge of Allegiance. And now, join me for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Foley High School. Welcome to the Lion Pride News Network. that the deadline to sign up for the ASVAB is Tuesday. Sign up in room 100. Right. Hey y'all, I'm here with a few of the Scholars Ball members. Uh, y'all tell me what happened last Tuesday. Well, to start off, I'm Jack, this is Alex, and this is Jasmine. We're all a part of the Varsity Scholars Bowl team here at Foley High School. I'm going to let Alex tell you a little bit about our meet we had on this last Tuesday. We faced first Robertsdale, then BCHS, then Daphne, then Spanish Fork. We won against the first three and unfortunately lost against Spanish Ford by a margin of about 30 points. But we're confident we'll come back and beat them and win first place this year for county. Today's weather will be a high of 84, a low of 68, and a slight chance of rain. In the rat will meet on Tuesday during first break in Ms. Stein's room and second break in Ms. Philly's room. Hi, I'm Tia Rowell and I'm here with Coach Moore. And we're going to be talking about the MacBooks today. Um, Coach Moore, what did, what's your overall opinion about the MacBooks? I'm excited about the new process. I've been in several classrooms and I've seen some teachers doing some creative things with them. I've also seen some students really doing some really neat projects and being very creative and very talented in their use of them. I'm uh, not real tech savvy, so I'm always impressed when I see things that took some creativity and took some higher order thinking. So I appreciate the effort that's going in. Okay. And what are the major uh, good things you've noticed about the MacBook so far? Well, again, I think it's a, a chance for people to proceed at their own rate and even go further than they're assigned at sometimes. I think also um, that it's a chance for people to use creativity. We don't all learn the same way. We don't all demonstrate our understanding the same way. And this offers some different opportunities for the students. Um, that's a couple of things that jump out at me. Mm -hmm. Okay, and what are some maybe negative things you've noticed about the MacBooks so far? Well, I think negatives would just be students exploring, and I know people are excited about something new and so forth and so on, but you know that when you download every song that you know on your computer, that your computer's not going to function as quickly as it should on the academic things. You know that when you're FaceTiming somebody that you're not supposed to be doing, and then you're wasting your time, and other people around you, you may be distracting them. These things are new and I know it's exciting and I'm hoping some of that will wear off as we get into the process. The teachers are going to have to be a little more strict on that as we go along. I think some of them are letting you students explore and play because you're still using your brain in a way. But at some point that becomes counterproductive and we'll, as a grown up adult staff, we'll have to figure out when that is and, and kind of put the brakes on a little more and a little more. Okay, and finally do you think there could be any improvements that we can see? Well, I think that you'll continue to see improvements to the infrastructure. And again, I'm not real tech savvy, so I apologize if I say anything the wrong way. I know that our wireless system is not perfect. They've had people down here a couple times since we started. Um, from what I hear, it's beginning to work a little better. Some of that is going to be us figuring out how to do things differently, not have a thousand people log on at exactly the same minute, things like that. So we'll figure some things out too. But I think you'll continue to see improvements to the infrastructure. And uh, these computers are on a four year lease. So I think, you know, I guess these ninth graders will use these same computers. It may be just because of technology's sake that when the eighth graders get to be seniors, that we'll have a new addition that's even better. So I mean, things will continue to improve just as technology always does. Okay. All right, thank you, Coach Moore, and that's it. Stay tuned in for the Lion Pride News.
How may I take your order? I'll have a hamburger with a side of broccoli and potato tots. And don't forget your milk. Thanks. And that's your lunch for today. Have a great day. Seniors, last year you met in groups with Miss Bezzaretti, the career coach from Faulkner State Community College. This year you can meet with her one-on-one -on -one for career planning, assistance with your college applications, college and training exploration, help with the financial aid process, and assistance with your resume, interview skills, or scholarship application essays. Please take advantage of this free service. Ms. Bezzaretti will be on campus on Wednesday. Please sign up in room 100. You will receive a hall pass and home room Wednesday morning. Students, especially seniors, do not forget the Financial Aid Awareness Night parent meeting that is scheduled for Thursday from 6 to 8 p.m. in the gym. Seniors, if you did not place your order for graduation supplies with Ballot 4 on September 27th, you must mail in your order. Before mailing in the order, please stop by Ms. Hill's room before or after school to pick up a gowning size form. Hi, this is Logan Lane, and as you can see from the title that popped up just before me, we've made a name change from Logan's Corner to Logan's Lane because it seems more fitting. Today we have about five questions or so that I would like to address. I'm sorry if your question is not addressed today. It will be addressed next Monday, I promise. So first question, Dear Logan, what is the meaning of life? I've Googled it and looked on Yahoo Answers, but it seems like everyone has a different answer. What do you think it is? Signed, Velveeta Presley. Well, Velveeta, first off, I want to say I love your name and I love the cheese. But besides that, what I think the meaning of life is, well, for me, it's, you know, it's different for everybody, but for me, I think the meaning of life is to live. Don't worry too much. Just be you. That's the meaning of life. To live life. Next question. Dear Logan, I paid $70 for my new weed. Every time I get to school, it frizzes up. What should I do? Each night, you should scrub it with mayonnaise. Next question. This one has three. Dear Logan, question number one. I'm unsuccessful in finding women that like me. What should I do? Well, man or woman, you should be funny, be a gentle man or woman, and just treat the girl with respect and show her that she is a lady. Question number two. What makes banana peels so slippery? Wonderful question. And luckily, I'm a fruit expert because I'm very fruity. But anyways, what makes bananas so slippery? Well, whenever you eat a banana, you notice a banana is kind of dry. When a banana is forming inside the peeling, it is actually juicy. But as it grows, the juice exudes out of the banana's pores and gets soaked in to the peeling, therefore making the peeling very slippery. Question number three. Can you solve this equation? Well, friend, I'm sorry to say, no, I cannot. So ask Ms. Morin or Mr. Keenan. And that's all of our questions for today. I'll be back next Monday for more of your questions, complaints, concerns, whatever it is that you want me to talk about, I'm here to talk about it. All right, so remember, Logan's Lane, we've got more locations around campus where you can drop your questions, comments, concerns, complaints, whatever it is you need to talk to me about, I'm here for you because I am the voice of the people. This is Logan Lane, and you've been watching Logan's Lane. And there you have today's Lion Pride News. Join us again tomorrow for more news from around school.